We're going to do some questions related to the pottery wheel. Uh, so I've got a pottery wheel here, uh, and I've got the center marked with this little dot here, and I've got a 200 gram mass sitting on it uh, 10 centimeters away from the center. Uh, and so, first off, just to review uh, centripetal force, remember if this is spinning at a constant speed, in order for this to go at a constant speed, uh, there has to be a force acting on our mass, uh, because if there was no net force acting on it, it would just go in a straight line. Uh, and instead we want it to go in a circle, and that means that the net force needs to be going towards the center. Uh, now, when I want to get it to start move in the first, starting to move in the first place, uh, I need to get it to accelerate that way, uh, which means I need a force not towards the center of the circle, but tangent to the circular path it's going to make, uh, which is in the direction of motion. Uh, so to get it to change speeds, uh, to have an angular acceleration, we need a tangential force. Uh, and another way to think about that is in terms of torque. Uh, we know if we're getting it to accelerate, we're getting it to twist, there must be uh, some sort of force that is perpendicular to the radius. And so if the radius is like this, which would be lined up with the centripetal force going towards the center, that tangential force has to be perpendicular to the radius. And so that's what provides our torque and allows us to have an angular acceleration. Uh, if it's doing both of those things, though, if it's going in a circle and accelerating, that means means there needs to, that means there needs to be both a centripetal force and a tangential force. And so, if I spin it like this, and it's getting faster and faster and faster, uh, as it's going along the circular path, it needs to both have a force going towards the center that causes it to go in a circle. And if it's getting faster and faster and faster, it's also going to have a tangential component to the force. Uh, going uh, tangent to the circle in the direction it's moving, uh, which means that, for example, this point right here, if it's accelerating through here, getting faster and faster and faster, uh, the total force is going to be sort of in that direction, because we'll have both a tan uh, centripetal component of our force and a tangential component to our force. And so if we add together both the tangential and the centripetal component, so we've got centripetal, tangential, add them together tip to tail, the result is to be going that way, and so our total force is going to be going at an angle. Uh, if it's slowing down, uh, then the tangential force just needs to be in the opposite direction that it's moving. Uh, and then finally, remember there is going to be some certain maximum speed this can spin at um, before the object eventually falls off. So in the case of the object on the pottery wheel, uh, static friction is what is providing both the centripetal and the tangential force necessary to make it move. Uh, but if we get this spinning fast enough, the object uh, is no longer able to stay on.